There are two schools of thought when it comes to adding character to a timbre. You can either start out with an overtone-rich waveform, such as the sawtooth, and remove frequencies with a filter, or you can use the unassuming sine wave, containing only the fundamental frequency of a note, and add harmonics with techniques such as saturation or wave folding. Since subtractive methods lead to more predictable results, let's look at ways to mutate the sine wave using more unusual tools. First of all, let's generate sound by patching the utility sine oscillator into the VCA. We then connect this to the center row output jacks and turn up the gain. As expected, the result is a simple sine wave with no overtones. To get a better idea of the sound and its natural habitat, I prepared a one-bar melody as MIDI data. We play this by connecting the note out jack of the MIDI to CV module to the CV in jack of the sine oscillator. For more variation, we create portamento by patching the slew limiter module between the MIDI to CV module and the sine oscillator. Creating further contour in a melody is achieved by connecting the gate and trigger outputs from the MIDI to CV module to the ADSR module. The sound itself is still lacking character, which is where the microfold comes into play. We patch this between the sine oscillator and the VCA. The fold style controls the signal gain, folding the waveform and creating overtones in the process. Let's find a sweet spot for this parameter. I would like to give each note of the melody a different timbre, so let's clock the Penta sequencer using the trig output from the MIDI to CV module and connect the CV out to the folds input of the microfold module. Once we set the individual stages to different values, the triggered notes move through the timbre sequentially. As a final touch, let's modulate the symmetry using the LFO. Instead of patching this directly to the module, we scale the amplitude of the LFO signal with the bottom VCA using the second ADSR envelope module. Connect this to the MIDI to CV module and then hook it up to the CV in of the VCA. After we set the attack to about 7, every time a note is triggered, the LFO modulation is slowly fading in. The beauty of modular synthesis is that there are no boundaries for experimenting. And the only rule to adhere to is that if something sounds good, it is good. I will see you again next time when we generate unusual percussive sequences by pinging filters into oscillation.